Hey eBay sellers and welcome to another edition of Money Making Monday. Today is June 28th, 2019 and I'm changing this format up a little bit and I'm going to start putting these together in themes. So rather than just a bunch of random stuff all over the place, it's going to be more organized and focused on a certain category of items. If you are new to this format, these sales come from my Facebook group where we have over 30,000 sellers and every Monday they post their finds on a thread called Money Making Monday and you post what you sold, where you found it, how much you paid for it, a screenshot of your sale and any other information that might be helpful to the sellers reading it. So it's a great way to learn what sells. So let's get into this video. This is a health and beauty edition of Money Making Monday. If you are looking to expand the categories that you sell in or just learn more about what's out there, here are some health and beauty items that other sellers have actually found and sold within the past few weeks. So we've got Julie who found this acne eliminating cleanser for a dollar at a yard sale and sold it for forty dollars. Now health and beauty, let me talk about used versus new. Since these types of items go on your body, some go in your body, but the ones I'm going to show mostly go on your body. It's okay if they're open and they will sell that way, especially items that are discontinued such as fragrances or lotions or shampoos. It's totally fine to sell them partially used. And just put that in your listing that it is partially used and the percentage that is left in the container. Also, you want to test a little bit of it to make sure that it has not disintegrated, degraded over the years. Like if it is a lotion or a shampoo, it's not all separated and gross. So you just want to kind of check that out yourself. There has been some concern lately about fragrances that have gone bad. So you're just going to have to spray a little bit of it and or dab it on and see, does it smell right? So that's up to you as the seller to figure that out. But it's totally acceptable to sell health and beauty items, cosmetics, skin care, those types of health and beauty that are partially used. And they will sell. So seeing is believing. Here is a Ralph Lauren cologne that Janae found. $5 at a garage sale. She sold it for $40. And it sold in about a week. So this is one that takes us back to the 80s. I remember when this cologne came out. Vintage fragrances do very well. Okay, Ginger found these Burt's Bees lip balms. She said she bought a couple of big boxes of these for $20 each. There are over 200 in each box. I sold two lots like this last week for $24.99 each. I made it a baker's dozen with 13, hoping for a repeat customer when they use them up. So who would think that lip balm would be a sellable item on eBay? Especially if you're new to this, you may never have considered that. Another reason I wanted to do this health and beauty edition is to nudge you, urge you, encourage you to look around your house for what you already have because you just don't know what things are worth now. It may have been in your bathroom cabinet for a really long time, maybe something you got as a gift that you don't use, and you may have these items right there in your home and you can put them up for sale and make some money right away. Okay, Luann found this Follicure Leave-In Conditioner, seven bottles, paid a dollar per bottle, so her investment was seven dollars. She sold the lot for $159 plus shipping and took less than a week. So this is a specialty item that someone's probably looking for and they may have an alert set up on eBay so that when it's listed, they're notified and they can check out that listing. Okay, Mark Sherrill found this Vell soap 
for 25 cents at an estate sale. Sold for $10 plus $5 shipping. This one goes way back. This has been a bolo for, I think, at least 10 years. Something that people look for at estate sales all the time because they don't make it anymore. So in his title, he has Vintage Vell Mild Skin Care Bar Soap Sealed New Old Stock. And that's what you say when it's a vintage item, an older item. It's never been opened. It's still in the package. It's called New Old Stock. Okay, D. This was the last part of a lot that I paid $45 total at a thrift store and has made me over $500. This one cost less than $5, took five months to sell at $50 with free shipping. And this is Beauty Control, sorry, Beauty Control Regeneration Extreme Ultra Wrinkle Treatment. So she paid $5 and sold it for $50. Okay, Alyssa paid $4 each, sold two for $80. This is Bath and Body Works Forever Midnight Spray Fragrance Mist. And I will say that Bath and Body Works is constantly discontinuing things, and that's by design. They want to constantly have new stuff they're introducing new fragrances new lines so they only have so much shelf space some of the slower selling items have to be discontinued they just don't have room for everything but just because something is discontinued doesn't mean nobody wants it these big corporations that constantly introduce new items all the time they're just looking at which ones are bringing in the most revenue and if they're a lower producing item they get cut and get discontinued because they are always adding new things to their offerings to keep people interested and to sell more product so just keep that in mind that just because something is discontinued doesn't mean nobody wants it. There has to be decisions made about shelf space and that's that's really the bottom line. Okay, we've got, uh, this was George Kelly. I think he said he got this for $5 at a garage sale. And it is a prostate health vitamin. Now, this is something that would go in your body. So it needs to be sealed and not expired because this is something that a human being is going to consume so he's got in his title there the expiration is 5 of 2021 and it's new in the bottle so okay on that George knows what he's doing okay we've got Lou Ann again paid $12 at an estate sale sold for $149.99 plus shipping this is vintage Chanel number no. 5 after bath powder with puff new sealed and my grandmother used to wear this. She was born in 1908, so she was a young woman around the same time that Coco Chanel was and uh, wore her fragrance products. So just looking at this, I think of my grandmother because she had everything, the powder, the lotion, the fragrance spray, all that stuff. So uh, vintage, yes, $149, and Luann paid $12 for this. Okay, Lisa sold this Jean Nate. She purchased for $1.91 at Goodwill, sold for $89 in just a few days. Jean Nate Silkening Body Powder, 6 ounce. And this is a product of the 80s. I used to wear this stuff all the time. They had the after bath splash in the commercial with the lady splashing it all over herself. And this stuff, my mother was like, oh, that stinks. I wish you wouldn't wear that. But I always got it for Christmas, so I wore it. But um, yeah, that takes me back as a vintage item. You don't see that much anymore. Okay, Graham, I bought 10 of these WEN 16 ounce conditioners from a thrift store for $6.50 each and only have one left in about a month. Not huge money, but easy to list and sold quickly. They had a ton of WEN stuff, but I wasn't sure about it. Everything they had was about $300 if I bought it all. Oh, should have bought it all. 
So $6.50 and he sold these two different ones for around $23. And again, the product is WEN, W-E-N, by Chaz Dean. You may remember the TV commercial about this stuff. And there was also some kind of huge lawsuit about this product that it was making people's hair fall out. So if you want to Google that and just look into it, um, that was an interesting thing that came out a few years ago about when hair. Okay, we've got Diana here who bought these at Goodwill. They were part of a toiletries bag, so about 99 cents for these two. Took full asking price of $13.99 plus shipping. Took three weeks to sell. This is Clinique Facial Soap Mild, and it's the travel size. So if you are new to eBay or even not, and you have any of these gift packs from the makeup counters you know where you buy so much and you get the bonus gift Clinique does a lot of that you can sell these things and people like them for travel I just sold a lot of little hotel soaps and conditioners and shampoos and the little bottles that I had accumulated for a while and I picked these up at different thrift stores when I see them cheap and they're also used for making goodie boxes, toiletry boxes for military. That's what the lady told me when she bought it. She was like, oh, I'm putting together some boxes for the troops. That's what I'm buying it for. So good to know that there's a reason people want them small. So, you know, if you're stationed on a submarine, you don't have much room in there to store things. You might only want to buy little small things that will fit in your storage area because of course it's more economical to buy the big one but you may not have room for it or you're traveling or you're backpacking across Europe or you are um, a lot of people do this you know hiking the Appalachian Trail all these things where they need to reduce the amount of stuff they're carrying with them or where they're living isn't much uh, storage space so try that out if you are not picking up these sample or trial size things just experiment with that and see how you do okay we've got Jamie Lynn Galloway who sold this unique beachfront bronzer she says this was in her presentation kit so this is one of those MLM type companies where you buy the products or you get orders and you have a demo kit you know like Pampered Chef or Mary Kay and she sold this in one month for $31.97. Now, I believe this is one of those companies where the rule is that if you are a current distributor or rep, you cannot sell on eBay. However, if you find it and, you know, in the secondary market, it's out there, or you are no longer working with the company, then you can sell it. So people are very confused about some of these products that they think cannot be sold on eBay. Um, Melaleuca is famous for this. If you are a current distributor, you cannot. You're supposed to sell it to other people and have the in-home parties and um, it's direct sales. So they don't want it on eBay if you are a current distributor. But if you find it at a garage sale or thrift store or whatever, then it's fair game. But again, check the Vero list just to make sure. Just because something is on the Vero list doesn't necessarily mean you can't sell it. It means there are rules and you need to look at what the rules are. So for example, Pampered Chef is on the Vero list, but it just says that their products are not covered under warranty. If you buy them secondhand, you have to buy them through a distributor or a rep to have that warranty on your product. So Vero is very confusing. Just check the list and actually read what it says under that company as to what's allowed. Okay, we've got Janae again who sold this lot of three Dermalogica body hydrating creams. She paid $15 for these three bottles, so total of $15, sold them for $70. And 
I just always look up things like this if it's a beauty product or skincare product and you've never heard of it it might mean it's a specialty thing for a problem that you don't have and somebody's looking for it so there's the proof right there okay and then one more item this is proactive I'm sure everybody's seen that commercial about proactive um, skincare stuff Sandy paid four dollars for this at a garage sale sold in a few weeks for 2606 plus shipping so all this stuff is out there it's just a matter of learning to pay attention to it and maybe you haven't considered selling this kind of stuff um, Markham has a good comment here make sure you pay attention to the expiration dates when you pick this up absolutely anything that's going in your body or on your body you want to look for that expiration date some things won't have one but you are not allowed to sell expired items on eBay so make sure you check that before you buy them and then if you get home with it and it's expired you can't put it on eBay maybe you could do Facebook marketplace or something else but um, that is the rule so this is a little bit shorter of a video because we're focusing on specific categories and so I can churn these out a little bit faster for you would love your comments if you like this format or not and um, any comments you have about the products shown and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.